All right, Doreen Steenland, welcome to ENTV. Thank you. So happy to be here. Really excited. Very, well, very excited. Uh, Devin Schubert, thanks for inviting Doreen in. And any of Doreen's friends that are going to be watching, please give Doreen some love and a thumbs up in the hey comment guys. section there. <laughs> All right, Doreen. So for those that don't know you, okay, so we got 15,000 people in the group. How do you introduce yourself to a new crowd? What do you say? Yeah, so I say that I change brains one thought at a time. I work with medical professionals um, and I help them navigate stress and really prioritize well being. I call myself a mindful leadership coach because I like to think that I'm transforming medicine from the inside out. When I say medicine, I mean the people of medicine because. Right now, there's a lot of stress in this world. And those are the people that are running to the crisis all the time. And um, they are loaded with stress. And so one of the ways that I help them is how to navigate that powerfully. So how do you do that? And why do you do that? Yeah, so I do that because I'm one of 13 family members in medicine. So I get what it's like to be um, in medicine. I'm a registered nurse myself. My husband's a doctor. All three of my kids are in nursing or CRNA or whatever. I've got cousins, you name it, we're all in medicine. And so after COVID, um, there was a huge uh, amount of stress that increased. Medicine's always been stressful. I mean, we are dealing with people at the worst points in their life, right? So after COVID, it seemed to get a lot worse. And I noticed that a lot of uh, professionals had minor symptoms of PTSD. Their anxiety was increasing. They were drinking more. They were numbing their emotions, all of those things in order to calm what was happening on the inside. And that was my story too. And so I, I figured out a way that I can manage my nervous system from the inside out. And I wrote a book about it. Okay. Cliffhanger. What's the book <laughs> called, Doreen? <laughs> so the book is called Transform Your Brain One Thought at a Time, Stress Patterns, Anxiety, and Overthinking Rewired. Because all of us come to life. Um, and when we have stress, we go to our autopilot patterns. It could be you overwork, you're a people pleaser, you're a perfectionist, you're hypervigilant, whatever your pattern is, right? You could sulk, you could slam doors, you could have an angry outburst. Whatever your pattern is that you learned in childhood is what your brain goes to automatically when you're in a stressed situation. Right? I know that firsthand. Oh yeah, <laughs> it's like like almost carnal, animalistic, I'm scared. Yes. The sky's falling. Yes. And and what is that like for you in your body? Like, what are you feeling? Oh, when I go there, man, it's like my shoulders tighten up, my hips tighten up. Yeah. I'm sure I'm not fun to be around. <laughs> exactly. Like, that's the kind of stuff that I help people with because we all have those feelings. But when you're experiencing it, you feel like you're the only one in the world that's experiencing it. Right. And what I help people do is to say, to, to become aware, like, okay, this is happening and we, we can disrupt this. We can interrupt this cycle and build in new positive pathways. And, and I use these little micro shift, uh, I call it my micro shift reset system to help people to reset these patterns and disrupt maybe even lifelong, longstanding patterns. So, okay, you come from medical, family of medical, COVID, you wrote a book, but what were, like, as a kid, as a youngster, what were you doing in your, for fun? What did you do when you were 10, 9, 12? Oh, gosh, I did all the bad things. <laughs> I was one of those bad girls. Yeah, so I came from a household um, where my parents uh, were kids raising kids, right? And I can't, I grew up in a time when nobody... We didn't talk about emotions, right? Kids were to be seen and not heard, you know, stop crying or I'll give you something to cry about, you know, all of the things, right? And so um, 
I had a lot of trauma when I was a kid. I lived more of my life before the age 25 than most people would. So sexual, emotional, and physical abuse. Um, and I broke free from that. But I developed some really bad patterns. I developed some really bad patterns to self-protect. And those patterns served me to heal and get through all of that stuff, right? But those patterns are wired into your brain. And so whenever there's a stress situation, they get reactivated. Really simple. I mean, you don't even have to think about it. It just happens like that, right? You're oh, shaking your head. Yeah, come on off. <laughs> yeah, I know. I, I'm just saying, yeah, I think anyone watching, yeah. if I'm honest, I know, you know, what I, everyone has their stuff they go to. So yes. how do you find people? Because there's levels of my experience of, becoming aware of it, first of all, like aware that I actually go somewhere when I feel like I'm threatened. Because there's before that, there's not even being aware. You just are triggered. And then you come out of it an hour a day later. And you're like, what the hell just happened? But yes. you were <laughs> off. So like, how do you walk people through the multi layers of, of that? Yeah. So basically, that's why I call myself a mindful leadership coach, because all of the people that come to me are leaders, right? And so Ground zero is just learning to be mindful of what's happening in your body, what's happening in your relationships. You know, if you see the same pattern showing up in your relationships over and over again with different faces, right? Dysfunctional communication, communication breakdowns, arguing, um, pitting people against one another. If you see that happening over and over and over again in your relationships, that's a clue that there's a pattern, right? So that's the kind of stuff that we do. We start with awareness. People come to me with their own agenda because that's what coaches do, right? I don't dictate the agenda. They come, most people come because, you know, they're at the end of their rope. Many people wait to solve their marital problems until they're almost ready for a divorce. And it doesn't have to be that way. You can work on, on your relationships. You can work on the patterns that are, that are ruining your joy and your peace and your, and, and your connection with those that you love. You mm. can work on them before there's a crisis. Speaking of working on them. So you have a thing behind you that says hope anchors the soul. So how do you, how does a person learn to anchor into what's going to last longer term? So they're setting themselves up for success down the road. Yeah. So, so part of my process is I use little steps. It's kind of like breadcrumbs in like you're, you're in the woods, right? And in your brain, your brain is like the woods and there's pathways and some pathways are wider than other pathways. And so there's little breadcrumbs on the ground along the way. And when one breadcrumb is activated, it goes through that big wide path, right? So we just lay some new breadcrumbs, we lay some new foundations, and then when something happens, we have a choice and it will be, it will come to mind like, okay, I don't have to choose this old pathway anymore because you've already driven down that other pathway. So you start to take that pathway more normally. And so all of these shifts, it seems really hard. <laughs> But that's the beauty of my process. It I use micro steps along the way, things that you can easily implement into your everyday practice so that so that it's not overwhelming because everybody is overwhelmed already, right? They don't need, you know, to go to a, a, a month-long vacation to work on their inner self, right? That's not what we're talking about here. We're talking about everyday routines where we could build little tiny steps and habits in that will transform your relationships, your life, and, and really help you to love your work again and have energy left for the things that are most important for you. Well, let's go to client testimonials. What successes have you seen? Yeah, I've had a lot of successes. And so one of, I, I wasn't prepared off the top of my head for a client testimonial, but we just posted one this week. So that was cool. And she was like, um, what I just, I, as I'm going along with my clients, I like to check in after a month or so, you know, are we making progress? Are we on the right track? What are you noticing? And she said, what I'm really noticing is that 
I thought this was going to be overwhelming. I thought it was going to be hard. And the way you're breaking it down into little pieces makes it easy. And I'm seeing real change in my life. And I mean, that right there, just that brings me so much joy. Like that's what I live for. And so what's coming up for you then in the next year? I'd have a hard time believing you're sitting still. So I'd then, imagine you've got lots going on. Yeah, I do. I um, I have a few speaking engagements coming up. I'm, uh, I've got some contracts in the in the way with working with some medical offices, and I'm preparing a launch for a new program called um, Reset Your Relationships, and going from adversaries to all in partnerships, and in that three month course, 90 day course, um, we're going to do a lot of the foundational work so that some of those patterns could be disrupted. And you can really build in some solid, um, solid pathways. So you can learn to start being present with your people instead of disconnected. You know, well, I bet it's the medical community would appreciate your background because your understanding for is very akin to because yeah. like an outsider that doesn't know medical community, but because you're coaching in something you, the ecosystem you were raised in, I could see, obviously. So where, where are you going to take this? Are you going to start a movement? Like what, what's your. I feel five... like this is a movement. I am starting yeah. a movement. I feel like my movement, my desire, my goal is to transform medicine from the inside out. I feel like medicine right now um, is in trouble and we need to really care about our medical professionals because they are struggling silently because there's a stigma around stress. We were trained to um, push ourselves aside. We were trained to put everything and everybody above ourselves. It's like this whole self-abandonment was exalted. And so this was something that was a pattern wired into our brains, right? So as medical professionals, it's almost shameful to say, hey, I'm, I'm feeling anxious. I'm struggling uh, to connect with my family. My marriage is in a shame. It's almost shameful because they are leaders in the community and, and they're pillars in society. And so for them to admit that when they have been told forever <laughs> to stuff their emotions, it's, it's hard. You know, so I feel like even if I could help any professionals come to the conclusion that they are not alone and they, I take the stigma out of stress. That's what I do. I take the stigma out of stress and help you manage it in a way that you can still juggle your work and you can still love your family and your work and have energy left for what's important. So how long have you been doing this for then? Like you met at your nursing and then when did yeah. you? So nurse, uh, gosh, you're really aging me now. Um, over 30 years. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah. Amazing. And then you've been dovetailing this in the last. Like... Yeah. Coaching. I've been coaching for the last seven or eight years now okay. and um, really saw the need to bring, I started always with the neuroscience thing since the very beginning. I originally started working with parents of teenagers because those relationships have problems. So I've always been in the relationship realm with neuroscience and um, really saw the need after COVID to shift to help medical professionals. Hmm. Wow. Well, I love that you're doing this work. I've not heard of no, I've only been, I've interviewed 600 people. Not like I've interviewed everybody, but I've not heard of, if anyone at the most working with medical professionals, I don't think in this way though, because it's, you know, it's kind of like, well, there are medical professionals, everyone leaves them alone, but they're yes. struggling. They are, they are, and they're yeah. struggling alone and their families are struggling, right? Because their families see it. But we also know as, as families of medical professionals, that there is a stigma. You can't, you can't be a doctor and go and say that I've got. I'm, I'm feeling a little unstable, right? Who? Uh, it's it's. Well, a you can. You right. can. <laughs> it feels like a threat. So that's why that's where I come in, right? Because I make it safe for them to be able to share in a safe place and get them real tools that will get them real help 
so they can move forward and go back to the career that they love and keep serving the patients that need them. Because we need our medical professionals, but we don't need them to be burnt out and ready for suicide. We need them well, and we need their families to be well. Wow. Okay. Well, there's a shout out to all medical professionals. Connect with Doreen. Doreen, <laughs> drop any links after into the Facebook, please, the, the comment section. I'll get you back for a networking event. We got uh, one week today. We have two networking events, if you're free. One's at noon, one's at 4.30 EST. And okay. we live stream them in, but you can come and meet some more people and just spread your message if you'd like, because uh, this is needed. Awesome. So closing Thank thoughts, so Doreen. Closing thoughts, Doreen. I'm just so thankful to be here and um, helping me to transform medicine from the inside out and taking the stigma out of stress. You don't have to suffer alone. Reach out. Beautiful. Well, ENTV, please reach out to Doreen. She'd love to connect with you. And then Doreen, we're going to keep chatting offline here as we bounce. But thank you, Doreen, for being on ENTV. Thank and you thanks for, for watching. Oh, my pleasure. Thanks, ENTV, for watching. All right, we're going to go off here now. Thanks, Doreen.